it's Easter Sunday and um, yeah, I'm not sure I've actually filmed anything today. Yeah, I haven't. Are we, uh, I think it's very weird that we're starting now. Well, um, are we having a nice day Claire? Nothing's happened. Quarantine, lockdown isn't it? So um, annoying, I'm just playing half stone right now at this at this exact moment in time which is good um, we're watching Avenue Q we're watching Avenue 5 as well on <laughs> nah I didn't say that I did that bit watching Avenue 5 on Sky so that's, that's enjoyable enjoyable things are enjoyable lives yeah wow hello guys it is um, Easter Monday now Easter Monday vibes and I'm about to live stream on YouTube for Food Review UK so I'm actually going to go live right now so I'll catch up with you in a minute. Just building some Lego. We're actually watching Contagion which seems like an awful choice We've film to be watching because um, yeah well it's terrifying isn't it in this coronavirus times. Good morning everyone it's now Tuesday also known as the start of the working week because it was Easter Monday yesterday, I didn't really film much, I haven't really filmed much all weekend it sort of feels like and it's gone really quickly. Anyway, today we're making beef harissa, excuse me, beef harissa tagine. So we're using this one here. The very lazy company harissa tagine. Um, it sounds really nice, smells really nice, I'm quite looking forward to it. It's got, we're doing beef instead of lamb. Um, you can do vegan as well, because it is a vegan product. Anyway, let's get the lid on there. Um, so it's got like beef, chickpeas, tomatoes, onions, and we put carrots in. Um, yeah, should be should be really nice. We're gonna have that with couscous later. And anyway, just before starting work, so I'm gonna get involved in that working day now. Butter vision. Ooh, this uh, looks and smells very nice. Yeah, looking forward to eating this. Should be should be a nice, tasty meal. So guys, I made a mistake in that. I really should have shown you a parcel that arrived earlier because it's really good. The contents of the parcel is quite exciting. But I'm gonna come down over to the cocktail bar. I don't even know what this is called. Like, oh, sitting down, this is... If you saw our vlog last week, you'll know that I'm not blown away with how... <sighs> easy this is to get to but we did move the table across at least but both Claire keeps inching it more and more over this way so I'm not sitting on I've literally never sat here by the way this is a unique experience for me I'm sitting look at this I look like a child I look like a boy like a little boy man look I look, I look like a little boy child <sighs> anyway good good cinematography um so basically it's I'm literally looking directly at a clock. Like I can literally show you what my eyesight is and then I'll put this narration here over the top of looking at the clock and it'll be cool because then I'll tell you it's five past seven. And it's Tuesday and we're filming a podcast today so we'll probably start filming the podcast in like 45 minutes or something like that. That's when I'll meet the boys on Skype. Um, anyway, I'll show you what arrived earlier. Pretty cool. Just loads more alcoholic beverages. So one thing I'm going to do is start making, um, having a cocktail a, I'm going to make it a tradition. So in, in, so now as a tradition, I'm going to have a cocktail with podcasts. Look at these colours, guys. So loads of stuff arrived today. And I don't remember if I mentioned it in the cocktail video that I did on Food Review UK. Oh, look, there's a thumbnail. As if by magic, when, when I said the words, it appeared. Um, don't remember if I mentioned it on there, if I've shown you on here. But this was the first cocktail, um, no, lie. This was the first liqueur or alcoholic beverage that I brought from this brand. So it's called Valer, or... V v v Why don't you come on over, Valerie? Um, no, I think it's Valer, I don't actually know. But look at these um, embellished bottles. So the bottles are really, really nice, right? And by the way, guys, these are ten pounds. Generally speaking, these are ten pounds. Um, ten to ten to between ten and fifteen. Um, I don't think I've paid more than sort of like twelve for them. Most of them are readily available for. Some of them are like nine. Some of them are nine pounds. Um, some of them are like twelve. Like I said, and I could just talk endlessly about price, but it wouldn't be very interesting. The point is, they're good value for money. 
right? Because they're cheap. And it's not like they're low, low alcohol. As you can see, I think most of them are 20%. I think some of them are a little more. Is this, I think this is called Blue Curacao. I think that one's more. No, that one's 20 as well. Maybe that's the the triple sex that the triple sex that is more. Oh look, the cherry brandy's 22. Anyway, I'll look look at more of them in a minute. So this brand, right? This is the first one that I got of them. First of all, 70 cl, the pretty pretty standard amount of alcohol, 700 milliliters. That's good. So like I say, they're good value. Not only that, I love the bottles. I love the design. On top of all of that. This is the main selling point for me, really, and it's why I've bought a lot of this particular brand. Oh, you see that? Yeah, it's got a pouring thing, and that makes it that makes it super easy to pour, and it's just really enjoyable. And look, as you can see, it literally it you have to force it down because it pops up. So that is really cool. Anyway. So we got cherry brandy, blue curacao, which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly. It'd be really embarrassing if I'm not. Passion fruit, so I'm actually gonna use that today because I've decided the cocktail I'm gonna have for the podcast recording is a porn star martini. So we get that out. Green melon, so I'm guessing that's like Midori. Vanilla, oh, how much are these actually? Yeah, 20%. How much was this one? 22 that one the melon banana that one's 22 as well uh, have we got any more just the cacao one at the back yes that's all of them um they do do a few others in there well there's several others in their ranges like triple sec and whatnot but yeah just wanted to show you them hopefully that was a little bit of an interesting portion um we also got recently umbrellas We've now got cocktail cherries or glacé cherries, as well as mas ma maraschino cherries. And then there's our syrups in the back, our bitters there. So we've really got sort of everything now. We just need the, funnily enough, we just need like normal, some normal alcohols now. So that includes, where the hell's, oh, I was going to say, where's the vanilla vodka? Because I need that for for the uh, porn star martini. Um, we need the normal alcohol now. So we need things like gin normal vodka and white rum um and bourbon we could do a bourbon um bourbon bourbon yes yeah, definitely bourbon um those are really, but we've got plenty of whiskies so yeah and then we'll be able to make pretty much most things that people enjoy so good and now i'm sat here still a few minutes later looking at all the on ride photos from theme parks that we can't visit because the coronavirus is uh, tearing its way through the population of the world and yeah it means people can't leave their houses pretty much so all we can do is look at the fun that we used to have in the past uh, and just had a very successful podcast really enjoyed it good strong episode biscuits Speaking with, uh, basically speaking with an author, no less. The, well, <laughs> he's a very accomplished man. Founded Man vs. Fat. He's, he's an accomplished journalist, uh, writer. Um, he's just written, he's written several books. He's just written a fiction novel. Um, world record holder. Really, really talented guy. A, a powerful force um so it was good it's about it's past 11 now and i am going to watch i'm gonna watch better call soul i'll probably watch a little bit of youtube as well it's probably gonna have to be a late one tonight it's gonna have to be because i need to I need to I need to watch my stories and i need to um unwind a little bit I think I often need these sort of unwinding periods where I just, I don't know, consume, where I just consume entertainment. I think my brain just needs that. Like when I have, when I have lunch breaks at work, I play Hearthstone or whatever, because I can, 
I, I need to consume entertainment. Never really thought about that before. I don't know why I need that, but I was probably marginally tipsy during the podcast because I had a passion fruit martini. I did mention that earlier. It was really nice. Yeah, I enjoyed it actually. It was good. Um, I I do need to limit myself to like what drinking cocktails a couple of times a week. It can't be a every time. It can't be an everyday thing. It shouldn't be. Of course, it shouldn't be. I think a couple of times a week is fair. Um, but yeah, I want to try June bug soon. I don't have um, I don't have sweet and sour or pineapple juice. But I think other than that, we can do a pretty good June bug. So I'd, I might look into getting sweet and sour. And I just need to get pineapple juice from somewhere eventually. Aldi don't sell it and that's where we do our shop. That's where I'm preferring to do the shop as well because it's the least stressful. And frankly, where I feel the safest. I didn't feel safe in Tesco, to be honest. And bearing in mind there's a killer virus on the loose. I would prefer to feel safe, frankly. <sighs> Just a stressful f- fucking year in it. Hi guys, it's Wednesday, second day at work this week. Um, yeah, good. Had pancakes for breakfast. Would have been the kind of cool thing to show you actually. Um, I might have got a photo. I'll stick it in here if I have got the photo. If it's not too much hassle, don't even mention it. If, uh, Anyway, yeah, just beavering away on some reports, exciting stuff. Um, Plans for today. I'm not 100% sure if I mentioned, I bought like five or six Switch games yesterday because Nintendo Switch got a huge sale on. So download, so I spent like, I think 30 quid, something like, yeah, about 30 quid on like six games. Um, Like most of it, like five of which I think were literally all on my list to buy. And the, the sale is crazy. It's like, some of, the, some of them are like 10%, whatever, fine. Some of them are like 90% off. Like, there's a game on there which is like 89p, which has got like pretty good reviews. So I might buy that 89p one as well. I think the sale ends in a few days. So anyway, after work, I'm going to play them uh, a little bit anyway. And what is it, Wednesday? What are we having for dinner? Uh, oh, we're having chicken enchiladas for dinner. So that should be all right. So today I've made um, enchiladas, like homemade enchiladas, which I don't think I've made. I might have made them once before, I can't really remember. But um, I'm hoping it's going to be nice. It looks very dark. I um, always get a bit nervous with these sorts of recipes, because it's a really weird recipe. Like it used like an oil roux, and like it didn't smell amazing. So like, I feel like if you're cooking food, it should always, like, it should smell nice. But I don't know, we'll see. So yesterday I... Didn't film anything after dinner. Dinner was disappointing, man. Uh, it, like it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad by any means, but the sauce definitely didn't have enough flavour. Uh, it tasted tasted fine, but just not enough flavour. Definitely a bad recipe. Can't it like um, weird weird recipe? Like why would wh- I don't know why that recipe was it would exist. And I think I'm not 100 percent sure that it did have. A high rating but basically I tend to only click on recipes that are like four and a half stars and above so it's it's weird if I clicked on it and it didn't I mean I could check but um, but yeah not enough flavor so I guess the warning signs were there we, we were curious weren't we um, was in a bit of a funny mood yesterday I actually finished work a little bit early because I had a bit of a headache and just um, not in the zone sort of thing um, yeah and I'm better today. I feel feel all right today. Just still a bit depressed. Um, yeah, nah, fine. I think it's Thursday today. Yeah, so the there's like an announcement later about probably extending the lockdown. I guess. I think people are going to saying it's going to be another three weeks, and I think I think by that point will our peak have levelled out because it is like generally most stuff is sort of going down a bit, and I think in three weeks it'll be like levelling out fairly to to my vague understanding i don't know based on like where other countries were and whatnot so i, I don't know hopefully like things will be starting to get back to the normal sort of fairly soon um after that i mean may, maybe but then maybe not i don't know anyway um cool
Oh my god, guys, hugely significant developments in this household. Um, so, you may or may not remember the festival. Yeah, it's like a short-lived series I did like five years ago on Food Review UK, where I basically, I vowed to review every single flavour of Pez. And I achieved that. At the time, um, I reviewed every single flavour that was available, which was something like 20, I think. Um, anyway... Um, there's always been some a few other fabled flavors. I'm not sure if they come out every year but um, Some like flavors in America that I've never tried anyway, so I bought them from eBay. They were quite expensive um, Initially, they were 90 pounds, but that's because it double added all of them to my basket and Didn't combine postage so I messaged the seller saying there's been an error here blah 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 anyway He's thrown in this for free. so That's nice um, but these are the three that I bought. They were about <sighs> Now you're gonna judge me, but listen guys, I've got a patreon and this is what patreon is for it totaled about 30 pounds So about 10 pounds each for this is what I was interested in in each one. So Absolutely horrendous return on investment. But anyway, we've got the cotton candy which came in the Valentine's Pez We've got the Vanilla Cupcake, Butter Vision, bloody hell, Vanilla Cupcake, which came in the Easter Peeps uh, Pez. And we've got Sugar Cookie, which came in the Christmas Pez. Um, so there's going to be some more Pestival episodes. There's going to be three, basically. Three more Pestival episodes. Mini Pestival, if you will. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing them. And I'm glad that they've arrived safe and sound after the, because, it, honestly, I can't tell you the issues that I had buying these. The fact that they basically it said on the lot, yeah, we can buy in postage. So I bought them all, went through to get the invoice, and it said, no, we don't combine postage. So I was like, okay, return. And then suddenly my basket was up to £90. So I was like, oh, what the fuck has happened here? I only want some bloody Pez. <sighs> I don't remember where I f left things yesterday. It was, um, of course, Thursday. Who could forget? It's now Friday. Um, good, really. Just at work now. Did quite a lot yesterday, actually. Managed to, um, got like a big piece of work that I'm working through. So I'm still working on it now, actually, just doing some tweaks. Um, but just powering through it. And yeah, quite happy with it. Good piece of work. Well done MJ, pat on the back. Gonna try and do the weekly shop today as well. Uh, I think Friday feels like a good day to do it. I don't really like going out the weekend. Um, I've not I've not actually shopped at the weekend in, in several weeks now. So I'm not sure if it's busy. I'm basically assuming that it's busier. So my plan is to go at lunch today, Audi again. Um, yeah, and we're playing a quiz tonight. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, annoyingly actually I played um, a few jackbox games with Rich and Tony last night and I should have filmed a bit because it was banter but I forgot that I'm sort of vlogging in it so yeah good uh, try and capture a bit of the quiz tonight maybe that might be cool um, otherwise yeah trying to entertain in difficult challenging time wow look at that on the TV screen you can literally see the reflection of the controller that's quite cool because it's such a bright colour, it stands out quite, quite well. So guys, we're very lucky boys and girls today. I'm still at work, but I've just taken a quick 10 minute break to film a video because been very lucky and received these. The Barrett ice cream ice lolly range. And oh my god, this is so good. I've not actually uploaded the video for this to Food Review yet. Well... Actually, this video that you're watching right now is going to probably go up before the review of this. So, you're sort of getting a sneak peek. I'm not a fan of blackjack chews, but this is really nice. It's so weird and so different. And texture is amazing. Ah, good shit. <laughs> so, yes, another week and another ending with me at the computer Saturday morning so I'm probably going to upload this video today thanks for watching um, yes yeah, so we played a quiz last night Laura and Nate basically ran a quiz um, it was very funny much banter was had uh, Claire and I did well we came fourth out of seven couples I think so mid mid table quite happy with that um, yeah it was it was very banterous so thank you
before watching, um, just couldn't film anymore because it was X-rated, nor did I have anyone's permission to film their face or image, and, you know, so, respect the laws of privacy at the very least, that's my advice in lockdown. Uh, lockdown anyway, we'll see you next time, cheers.